That's just anyway, I realize the big difference between other people in Animal Voivich is I promote myself more than they do themselves. And why is that? Because I love myself more. I, I have more information to give. Well, that's why. I see, that's why, mate. I see Adelaide over there. I can see how I can promote myself in that whole fucking street over there. I mean, guess what now? I'm actually, that's a, I mean, that's a very limiting spot over there to promote myself, but that's just one time thing. I'm not sure that buses, I mean buses. <laughs> I mean buses, yeah. I can promote buses, mate. I mean, all over Adelaide, mate. I can see it. I go and do a greater job, mate. And as I do a greater job, I'm doing something to just be around more people. And why? I understand because I have a business card to put on all the cars on the people's cars. But imagine going to the farm over there where there's no cars, mate. And there's only one car or two cars every two kilometers over there. I mean, for fuck's sake. But here, I mean, there's fucking thousands of cars over here in this car park. I mean, I mean, why? I mean, I mean, I mean, where is the more opportunity? I mean, is there a thousand cars around the car park? Or is there fucking two cars every two kilometers? I mean, what is it? I mean, fuck, of course. I mean, go where people are, mate. Promote your name. Promote your name faster and faster and faster and get all the money that you can from fucking advertisements from 9 to 5 job and throw it all into business cards, man. <laughs> and throw it into events first. <clears throat> I mean, throw all that money into events first to make events around town. I mean, save up some money and make some, I mean, make events and put it into business cards. And fucking keep going, mate. I mean, all the fucking way, mate. I never stop, mate. I mean, never stop for that. I mean, never stop for anything, mate. I mean, guess what? I mean, stop for the word I, mate. I mean, stop for the word I, though. I mean, although, guess what? I mean, the word I is something that you need. But guess what? I mean, for your word I, you must understand. You must stop for your word I. I realize all that. Everything else, I mean, make sure you keep promoting yourself as much as you can on business cards. Because of, with business cards around, Town, mate. I mean, one photograph fucking with my business card and social media, mate. I'm not sure it's much more enough for you, mate. Right, so what I do is I go around people's cars and I fucking place as many fucking business cards around town as I can, mate. <clears throat> because the more business cards I give out, the more popular I am. I brush and that's it, man. Brush your popularity. I brush your popularity happens when I give you my business card. You can see me forever, mate. I mean, you can see me forever and what I'm doing here. Brush it, yeah. Brush it is, yeah. Brochure, if I give my brochure, let's say Jesus Christ's car is one of these cars. I, I'm brochure, if I give Jesus Christ one of my business cards on his car right here. Brochure, if Jesus Christ comes and sees it, I mean, I mean, do you believe he's going to follow me for life? I mean, of course, yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ says, yeah, I mean, of course. I mean, of course he's going to follow you and he's always going to see what you're doing. And as long as you're becoming a rising star more and more and more, brochure, people are going to be watching you. I mean, you but if you're fucking <coughs> promoting yourself in your business cards and then you become a junkie, then nobody's going to fucking watch you, mate. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you become a fucking drug addict while promoting yourself, then eventually you never even want to promote your name anymore. Because that's what drug addicts do, mate. I mean, drug addicts never want to promote themselves at all. I promote them. I promote everything, mate. I promote everything. I promote drug addicts, mate. I'm not sure that. Guess what? I'm not sure. Drug addicts never want to promote themselves more. I mean, yeah, for sure, yeah. For sure, drug addicts never want to promote themselves more. I want to show you, Danny Milovoyevich wants to promote himself more. I want to there's a big difference. For sure, Danny Milovoyevich wants to promote himself more because he's never a drug addict. I, I realize all that drug addicts never want to promote themselves more. I mean, drug addicts promote themselves. I realize all that drug addicts never promote themselves more. So never become a drug addict. <laughs> for sure, somewhere along the lines, a drug addict never wants to promote themselves more. I want to show I realize all that what I do is I focus on helping myself to grow differently. And that's why I'm saying this is now a fucking composition, man. I approach it from this point. I approach it this point, fucking. I see that is amazing. I see that is amazing. I see all that every single day. I'm not saying that my most beautiful track is on a fire over here. I'm not saying that no matter what, it's a new one over here. I look a bit that way. I my track is on a fire. Has two and a half, I realize my track is on a fire. Has around two and a half hours of promotions over here. But guess what? I'm making sure you understand that no matter what, I'm fulfilling my duties over here. And I have a whales right here in my Zonify track. <clears throat> and guess what? I want to talk all the words out whenever I want, mate. Because I understand that, I mean, what are the chances that you guys are going to see, mate? I mean, there's a big chance. I mean, there's a big chance. But I want you guys to understand that. I mean, go and check it out. I mean, there's more advertisement there with my business. I mean, in a sense, so I realize that guy over there playing basketball on his own. I mean, guess what? 
I mean, that guy's over there playing basketball on his own, mate. I mean, he can go around cars promoting his basketball career, mate. I mean, guess what he can do? I mean, he can get actual business cards of his social media him, of him playing basketball everywhere. I love that. And now, guess what, Brucia? Now he has a chance to summarize a crowd for himself to play basketball. And then let's say he has, I mean, let's say he's a 15 year young individual. He's playing basketball on his own and he has all these basketball videos of himself. And there's all of these fucking basketball techniques and training videos that he shows people with the basketball. And guess what? I mean, now we're on, I mean, now we're onto it, yeah? But he's alone, yeah? I mean, he's alone. And he has his own Instagram and all he fucking promotes is basketball on that Instagram, man. He shows fucking everybody his nice and beautiful basketball skills. And he's fucking over there fucking doing the fucking basketball three-pointers and everything. And he's just showing people like this for fun. But he plays for no, for, I mean, he plays for no fucking sports team, mate. But he's a basketball player. But he plays for no sports team, man. I mean, he's, I mean, he's just on the fucking court, man. I mean, he's just always promoting basketball and himself playing basketball. But guess what? Roshi, now he has 3 million followers watching him and how he plays basketball. On his own. Roshi, some fucking Lakers star. I asked Kobe Bryant and Jesus Christ is this. Roshi, then some fucking Lakers person or fucking Miami or fucking some basketball team says, Hey, I want you on my team, man. I want, I want to sign you up. I brought you, but did he have to, I mean, did, I mean, does he have to go through basketball teams to play for higher basketball teams? I should know. But she never has to play for basketball teams to make a big star in basketball, mate. I mean, all he has to do is fucking be on the court like that. And then once he's on the court, on his own, to just create his own fucking career like this. And guess what? I mean, once he fucking has all these nice and beautiful basketball techniques and everything going for his Instagram and YouTube account, she, he summarizes marketing techniques to fucking promote himself on business cards like Danny Malavoy, which is right now around cars, promoting his fucking basketball career or soccer career or whatever it is, or any kind of sport he's playing. And eventually he summarizes 10 million followers about that. And then eventually he's getting much more of a superstar in basketball, but he's playing on his own, yeah? I mean, he, I mean, he never fucking played for any sports team, man. Except he fucking loves basketball, man. He loves basketball so much that somebody's going to fucking come from those sports teams and fucking sign them up, mate. But this, I mean, this is, I mean, this goes for soccer and also for fucking table tennis or whatever it is. I mean, if you, I mean, I mean, if you fucking really want to become a soccer star or whatever, then fucking go on the court somewhere or fucking somewhere and just do shooting videos of yourself, doing videos of yourself, fucking doing everything and training fucking sessions on your own and everything like this, and summarize marketing skills for yourself to fucking promote your fucking soccer or promote your basketball like this on Instagram or social media or fucking any type of sports out there that you love to play. Or any kind of gymnastics and show people all this kind of gymnastics about yourself. And eventually someone out there sponsors you and says, Hey, I want you to come to play for my sports team. Or I want you to come be a, the Olympic team for myself. I brought you, and that's how you make it. Big. But you never fucking make it playing for fucking Cabramaga High School or fucking Australia. Or, I mean, guess what? I mean, guess what? I mean, guess what? I mean, those Australian superstars who are playing basketball Australia for Australia, but they fucking die off very quickly. I mean, guess what happens after that? Or should they play soccer for fucking Messi United? And guess what? I mean, they no longer promote themselves as a soccer player, right? I mean, they're no longer. I mean, guess what? I mean, after the so, I mean, after the soccer career or basketball career, or should they no longer basketball players? Or should they no longer basketball players after the fucking career, mate? I mean, or should they no longer sports people of that kind of soccer player they were, and they no longer play soccer anymore, man? When they give up on soccer after that career? Well, what the, I mean, what are they doing it for? I mean, they're doing it for the money, aren't they? Well, now they're doing it for the money, but listen to me. I mean, look at Danny Milovojevic. I mean, let's say Danny Milovojevic is a soccer player. And he's fucking one of those people who fucking does Cristiano Ronaldo stuff on Instagram and fucking on YouTube and whatever. And then Chris, I mean, let's just say Danny Milovojevic has a beautiful Instagram of fucking 20 million people following him and fucking 3 million people and more following him on YouTube and stuff. And he fucking has all these fucking videos and all of himself and stuff. And fucking suddenly someone signs him up. And he starts playing for Australia, mate. And he starts playing for uh, Manchester United over there as well. And he's playing like that for 20 years, man. And guess what? I mean, now it's time for retirement for Danny Milivojevic. But Danny Milivojevic, I mean, Danny Milivojevic understands that. But guess what he's going to do now? He's going to fucking career. I mean, he's going to continue his fucking soccer career. I mean, he's going to continue fucking after the soccer career and after playing for those sports teams. He's going to continue going on that soccer pitch. And he's going to continue doing these fucking videos at 60 years of age and at fucking 80 years of age he's going to continue doing these videos and summing up to advertise himself as a soccer player all his fucking life even at fucking 200 years of age mate and he's going to be on a soccer pitch on fucking two years, I mean, 200 years of age fucking doing soccer tricks and shit I mean you understand? 
and then he fucking builds up more of a business anyway because he already has all the fucking money now because he's already fucking been playing for Man City United for 20 years mate you know what I'm saying? I mean, he has all the fucking money already. But they, I mean, guess what they do? I mean, they go to Juventus and they play for Juventus and then they go to U AC Milan and fucking Inter Milan. And then guess what? And when I mean, they finish a Man City United, then guess what happens? I mean, now they're 45 years of age. I mean, they're saying, what the fuck do I do now, man? I mean, what the fuck do you do now? I mean, fucking go on the soccer pitch again. I mean, what, I mean, what, I mean, what do you want? I mean, you want to be a manager now, huh? I mean, be, be a soccer player, mate. I mean, I mean, they give up on soccer. I mean, they give up on the Instagrams. I mean, they give up on promoting themselves as a soccer player anymore. I mean, I mean, they don't want to be a soccer player anymore after 45 years of age. Because it's for the money that they do it. I mean, they don't do it. I mean, they never do it for fucking soccer, mate. You understand? I mean, they never want... I mean, I mean, guess what? I mean, look at these basketball players, mate. I mean, fucking Michael Jordan, great basketball player, mate. And fucking other, other people. And then after 45, I mean, guess what happens, man? When they're no longer a fucking basketball player, mate. When they're no longer a fucking basketball superstar from that point. But they are. I mean, they are a basketball superstar. I'm approach they're a basketball superstar always. But are they playing basketball on the pitch today? I, I mean, are they fucking shooting videos of them still, still at 60 years of age doing basketball after 45? Or should nah, I? Or should they don't fucking care about that anymore? Or should they did it for the money, man? When they did it for the money, I promise you. I mean, guess what? I mean, Daniel Lloyd's promoting himself as a life coach at 28. But she had fucking 10,000 years of age. He's going to be promoting himself as a life coach still. I mean, he's still a life coach at fucking 10,000 million years of age, mate. And he's still fucking doing these audio programs at fucking 1 million years of age. I mean, you understand? Because I'm fucking... I'm, I, I'm, I, I, I realize, am I doing it for the money? Or am I doing it fucking for my legacy, man? I'm doing it for my legacy. I'm never doing it for the fucking money, man. I mean, you understand? But you have to understand that. I realize, well, I can go to this kid over here and I can really, really give him some knowledge over here about this. And guess what? I'll, I'll just go up to him. I'll just go up to him over here. I'll go talk to him, man. I'll go talk to him about this, man. I see, I see he's over here. I want, I want to hear this. I want you guys to hear this, man. I want to talk to this guy over here. Say, so, boss. Say, so how are you? I just came to ask you. I, I want to ask, are you a basketball player? Yeah. I see. I mean, who do you play for? I mean, do you just play basketball on the street like this, or? No, no, I play for New South Wales. I see. I see. Who do you manage? New South Wales. See, so you, I see you play for New South Wales. I mean, do you have an Instagram promoting your basketball? Pardon? I mean, do you have an Instagram promoting your basketball? No, no. I see. Why not? Pardon? I mean, why not? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, are you doing it for the money or are you doing it for basketball? Basketball. I see. So why don't you have an Instagram promoting your basketball? Like. I mean, I mean, I'm on. Like, that promote me. I, I, I want you to understand that you have to promote yourself on Instagram. So get, go, I, realize, I want you to make an Instagram where you're going and fucking doing three pointers on yourself and doing all these nice beautiful training routines around basketball and then go and get yourself a business card like this and put your face on it and go to fucking all these cars around town and promote your basketball. And then fucking summarize 20 million followers for yourself and play for no fucking sports team. Yeah. And fucking listen to me. I mean, play for fucking yourself. I mean, never play for a sports team out there. I mean, who, I mean you said you played for New South Wales. Yeah. I mean, never play for New South Wales. I mean, play for yourself. Yeah. I mean, make sure you never play for a basketball team out there. I mean, do you understand why? What? I mean, because if you play for a basketball team, then they just want you to play in that basketball team. I mean, I want you to play somewhere else. I want you to play for yourself in a better league than that. I want you to understand it's never about New South Wales. Because it's about being an international star or, or superstar. That someone who is very popular about basketball, that promotes yourself as a basketball player doing this at 100 years of age. And fucking recording yourself along the way, and ha I mean, you have a cameraman, fucking right here, recording you at 100 years of age doing this, and you're doing it for free. And you're never doing it for the money, man. You understand? Because what's important for you right now is you have to, you have, you have to get a business card, and you need to shoot video recordings of yourself doing this all day long, man. And shoot recording videos of yourself and photos of yourself, and get someone to do photos of yourself and to do photos of you and videos of you but make sure that's you who does it much more now and then later you can get somebody else to do that for you yeah. then what you do is you just go on the fucking training court on your own every single day and just fucking do that and show people on instagram what you're doing about basketball and then fucking go on youtube and show people videos about you doing that too and just fucking do all these fucking tricks and shit and fucking get 20 million followers right now without yeah. being a new south wales basketball player when you get a fucking right now, what you need is a fucking 20 million followers right now watching you play basketball. And then guess what? I'm a, or somebody from Miami comes and says, who do you play for, man? I mean, you say, I play for nobody. 
And when you say, I play for nobody, like, guess what happens? I'm going to say, I mean, come play for Miami then. I mean, do you want to go? I mean, guess what? I mean, why not? I mean, why not? But guess what? I mean, I mean you played for Miami for 20 years. I mean, what do you do from that point? I mean, you, I mean are you going to retire? Yeah. I, mean, why, I mean, why do you retire? I mean, I mean, I mean, how do you play ball? I mean, how do you get? I, I, I mean, are you bored playing basketball now? No, I don't play in the Premier I mean, I mean, I mean, but listen, are, are, are you bored right now? I mean, are you boring right now playing basketball? I mean, so why? Do, I mean, why do you get bored? I mean, why do you get boring at 45 then? I mean, you never get boring, yeah. I mean, never get boring. I mean, never be boring about basketball at 45 because after 45 years of age, you never play basketball, for example. So yeah. I understand what happens after 45. Uh, I mean, I understand what happens after 45 years of age is, for example, most basketball players never want to be a basketball player anymore. Yeah. I mean, why is that? I mean, they're doing it for the money, mate. They're never doing it for the basketball anymore. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you want to be a basketball player, then you fucking promote your basketball for 100 years, man. Of you fucking doing videos of yourself doing it at 100 years of age and then fucking also promoting your basketball and your focuses and everything and making sure that you're summarizing to understand this business card and these cards around here. I mean, if you have no business card like this to promote your face and your basketball and I mean, do you expect to be a superstar? I mean, but listen to me. I mean, yeah, I mean you need a basketball card like this of you on the actual basketball card. I mean, this is me. I promote myself as a superstar like this. But where's yours? I mean, you understand? But listen, nobody out there is going to make you a superstar. I mean, you understand? Know I mean, who's making me a superstar today? I mean, who's promoting my name? I am. I'm promoting myself today. So what's important for me right now is to go around cars and fucking promote myself as a life coach around town. So I want to give you one as well, because you deserve one. But just understand what I talk today. I mean, after 45, I mean, are you retiring after 45 years of age? I don't know. I can't really picture. I never want you to retire. I want you to keep going with your nice and beautiful basketball picture and make sure you understand that it's never about the money. But make sure you're making an Instagram around yourself and your basketball, is what I'm saying, so that you can go and really, really be a superstar for yourself, so you can go and understand what you need to do. Because what's important for you right now is you need to coach yourself to understand how to go and market yourself and sell yourself as a basketball player yeah. without playing for other sports teams. Yeah. See you, mate. Oh, thank you. See anyway, guys. Oh, my God, it's that guy. I can see he's very lazy, mate. I can see he's very lazy about his life, mate. I mean, hopefully, mate. I mean, fuck. I mean, like, I mean, guess what? I mean, he. I mean, he agrees with me. But guess what? I mean, you must understand. Anyway, now I'm, I'm showing him right now that he needs to go and promote himself as a basketball player on Instagram and stuff. I mean, I gave him a business card. I'll show him some fucking doors. But th does he get the message? Oh shit! I I I, I realize. I realize right now, for he gets the message, mate. I mean, he gets the message, man. I, I gave him the fucking clue, mate. But that's the thing, yeah. I mean, sometimes you fucking approach people like this and talk to them, mate. I mean, I can see he has, I, I can see he has a fucking motivation, mate. But you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a moment in my life where I'm inspiring some guy, man, to fucking be a superstar, mate. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he's going to come check and he's going to see fucking me as a superstar, mate. I'm a superstar, mate. I mean, anybody who can fucking do that, mate. I see Jesus Christ saying, that anybody who can do that can be a superstar, mate. I oh, thank you. I mean, I mean, if you can go out to some guy or some kid out there and you can fucking give that kind of talk that I just done, well, then you can fucking be your own superstar. I mean, just be understanding that, man. I mean, you have to understand that. You have to promote people and you have to go up to people and just say, hey, I understand you're playing so... I mean, I mean, did you hear him? I mean, he's like fucking... He's going to retire at 45. And I mean, he's saying that because he gets older, it gets boring. I mean, it gets boring to be a basketball player at 45. I mean, I, I mean why are you playing basketball right now, man? I mean, I mean, did you hear him? Did you hear him? I mean, he's already fucking getting bored. I mean, he's already fucking being boring about basketball. He never wants to play basketball anymore. I mean, I mean, he has no fucking advertisement of himself either. I mean, he has no fucking business card, mate. I mean, he has no fucking Instagram showing his fucking basketball career, mate. He's on a fucking pitch out there playing basketball, and after 45, he wants to retire, and he wants to fucking be a slacker, mate. I mean, did you hear him? I mean, you can fucking hear him, yeah? I'm not fucking lying about that. I mean, I mean how motivational is he about his basketball, mate? I mean, you can see he's fucking never motivational as much as he wants to be about him. I mean, you understand? I mean, he's fucking lying to himself here. I mean, he's lying to himself as a basketball player, mate. I mean, I mean that's what I'm saying. I mean, after 45, wish they die as a basketball player, mate. Wish they die as a basketball player. I mean, yes, they're a fucking legend in basketball playing. Russia. But after 45, I probably don't want to be a basketball player anymore, mate. 
Want je dit zei, ze zijn getting older, bro. Ze zijn getting older, bro. Ze zijn getting older, bro. I love it. Watch, look at Maradona. I ask Maradona to see. When Maradona is still on the fucking soccer pitch over there, fucking doing some fucking juggling and stuff like that on video, I can see him. I can see him. I'm pretty sure he's still over there. But guess what? I'm pretty sure he can do a better job too. I'm sure he can do a better job doing that. I'm sure everybody can do a better job. I mean, you understand? You have to understand. You have to. I mean, you have to fucking promote yourself as a basketball player, man. And everything that you want to be, man. I mean, I love it. I'm pretty sure it is, bro. No, thank you. I'm pretty sure Maradona is excellent. Oh, shit, it's much more I understand, man. I mean, you can see I went to talk to that guy to experience him and what he's doing. I, I see, he's, I see, he's very strong. Oh, shit, he's very strong as a basketball player. Oh, shit, I can see, I can see that he can be. I, can, I say he can be very strong as a basketball player. But he never believes in himself. He never believes in himself to promote himself around cars like I am here. He never believes in himself to have an Instagram promoting his fucking career. I mean, I mean, I mean, he believes to fucking play for New South Wales, bro. I mean, fuck New South Wales, man. I mean, fuck me then. I mean, who cares about New South Wales, man? I mean, they never want to promote him either. I'm promise you, they never want to promote him as a basketball player, man. I mean, they, I mean New South Wales never want him to be the best... Sub I, mean, I mean, New South Wales basketball team, or Australia basketball team, never want this kid to be the fucking best superstar in the world, man. I promise you, never. I promise you, either them, I promise you, they themselves want to be a best superstar. I promise you, he believes that they are going to make his career or some shit. I promise you, this, I promise you, this kid over here, Believes that those people in Australia or some shit or other people are going to make his fucking career. Well, she, nobody fucking makes your career but you, mate. I mean, who makes, I mean, who makes Jesus Christ's career, mate? I mean, Jesus Christ only, mate. I mean, only Jesus Christ can make Jesus Christ's career, mate. I mean, sense so. I see my bolts of that. See, I'm coming now, mate. Ya dollars him, Sada. Ya dollars him. See, my bolts of that, so. Make sure you understand that, I mean, do you hear that conversation? I mean, the conversation between me and that guy. I mean, the guy, I mean, the guy is around 20 years of age, man. I mean, guess what? I mean, it's still early for him to bring himself fucking basketball shooting and all this stuff. But yeah, if, if, if you have no business card about your basketball career, but you want to be a basketball player, then guess what? I mean, make up your mind. I mean, no fucking fall boring about basketball career. Although I, for sure, I'm honest, man. I mean, imagine Danny Milmoyish now fucking being a basketball player at 28. I mean, for the rest of my life, I can fucking promote basketball career. For the, I mean, right now, I mean, it's never too late. I mean, it's fucking never too late for me to be a basketball player, man. I'm 28 years of age. I can be a basketball player for, at 100. I can be a basketball player, man. I can promote basketball at 100 years of age. I mean, do I have to fucking play for a sports team? I mean, do I have to fucking play for a sports team? I never have to fucking play for a sports team to be a basketball player. I never have to fucking play basketball for any other team. I just, I just be a fucking life coach. While playing basketball and promoting fucking basketball shots and fucking promoting all these fucking videos of me doing basketball, man. For the next fucking hundred years, man, I can do it. I never have to play for another sports team because I have music production. And I have a music production career that gets me money. I have life coaching career that makes me money. But my life coaching, in terms of my life coaching, makes me all the money in the world, man. I, I can be just a part-time basketball player here or there. Fucking sh shoot hoops, man. I can fucking shoot hoops, man. I can fucking be a soccer player, too. I never fucking die a soccer player anymore. I can promote myself fucking on the pitch somewhere. I can get a fucking soccer ball and go on the pitch and fucking shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and fucking record myself doing it. I can record myself doing it, man. I mean, this is for fun. I mean, this is for fun, yeah? I, I can do it for fun. I never have to die for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm never old. I'm never old to play basketball. I'm never old to play sports, man. I can promote myself doing all the sports on the planet, but what sport do I want to do? I grew up doing soccer. I never have to give up on my soccer career now. I can play soccer still. I, I still can play for Man United. I still can play for anything I want. But guess what? It's never about Man United anymore. It's never about fucking playing for a sports. It's never about me playing for a sports team anymore, mate. I, I love soccer for the way it is. I, I understand that, man. You understand? And thank you. So Jesus Christ saying you're an inspirational leader, mate. I understand? I thank you. I mean, that's what you guys have to realize. <coughs> I mean, you guys realize now what I mean. I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, that's the newest way. I mean, the newest way is never fucking play for soccer teams, for soccer teams, and for soccer teams, and for soccer teams, and for soccer teams, trying to fucking make it to Manchester United, man. I mean, that's never how it goes, man. I mean, how it goes 
Just fucking be your own soccer player on the pitch somewhere and just fucking be there for the next hundred years, man. If Manchester United wants you, then they come up to you, man. I mean, if you're fucking that popular as a soccer player, then Manchester United is going to come to you, mate. But they're never coming to you if you're playing for fucking Mount Pritchard sports team. Or fucking Australia sports team. Which they're never coming to you, bro. Which they're never coming to you if you're playing for your own country in sports, man. I promise you. I mean, why is that? I promise you because you have to understand that they see that you're already playing for somebody. You understand? I promise you, I'm talking on along the lines of this. So yeah, I mean, yes. I mean, Australia. I understand Australia is a country, man. I understand all though. Guess what? I mean, let's just say you play for Inter Milan. I promise you, fucking Messi and I will never come to you, man. I promise you, Messi and I will never come to you if you play for Inter Milan. But really, which they may come to you, which they may come to you. But listen, I mean, what are the odds? I mean, what are the odds they're going to fucking pick you over everybody else? I mean, what are the fucking odds of Nets United coming to your fucking hometown to get you when you fucking play for a bigger superstar team in the world, mate? I mean, what are the fucking chances that they are going to come to you, mate? Probably the biggest chance they come to you is that you fucking get away from all those sports teams and be on your fucking own. I mean, be on your own. And then what you do is you get so fucking big and you fucking have 50 million followers as a soccer player first. We have 50 million followers first. And then guess what happens? And then you call Manchester United and say, Hey, Manchester United, look at me now. I have 50 million followers. I have more followers than all your fucking team in life. I mean, look at me as a soccer player, mate. I mean, fucking look at me I'm fucking juggling the ball over here. I mean, look at my fucking sports team kicks, man, and free kicks over here. And fucking penalty shootouts. I mean, fucking look at me, you're fucking running around fucking athletic training, mate. I mean, fucking, I mean, guess what? I mean, Manchester United says, I want you in my fucking team now. I want you in my fucking team. I mean, you understand? Because guess what? I mean, now you have 50 million followers and you fucking have a soccer career and you fucking have some fucking skill set that they love. I uh, wish they love you now. I wish they fucking love you now because you call them first, yeah? I wish they never come to you, mate. I wish they never come to you. You understand? I mean, that goes for every fucking basketball player out there and every fucking sports player out there, mate. Or should I never come to you? Or should you have to go to them first? But to go to them, you have to feel worthy of yourself. And you have to have fucking 50 million followers first before you even go to the sports team that you want. When you don't fucking understand me, we have to fucking be alone. We I mean, fucking be alone with fucking soccer and be alone and never play for other sports teams out there. I fucking went that way. I was fucking playing for White City. And I was playing for these other teams. But she was never the way for me. But she didn't want me to fucking be better than them. But she, I can only be better than them alone. I can never be better with them with them. But she didn't never want me to be better than them. I can only be better than them. I can only be better than them alone. I have to fucking go alone on the soccer pitch. And I have to go alone business marketing for fuck's sake. I mean, you know what and then fucking I summarize 50 million followers for myself first and say, look at my fucking soccer team skills, baby. And if I can give them a call and say, look at me, I mean, just look at my profile. I mean, I said, I mean, what do I have to do to get a yes from you? I mean, ask them. I mean, what do I have to do to get a yes from you? And if that's your fucking goal, then go and do it. I mean, I said, but they're never coming to you, mate. I promise you. They're never coming to you unless you feel worthy of Manchester United or that soccer team or that Lakers sports team or whatever it is man but you have to fucking understand how to fucking do the skills and arts I mean go and practice alone somewhere and go and practice alone I mean what's Danny Malloy doing here as a life coach I mean, fucking, I mean Danny Malloy's right now is fucking practicing alone doing life coaching with you right now I mean where the fuck is my team around here but should Danny Malloy which is my team right here mate I do a fucking need other people who fucking told me that I'm a life coach you know what I'm saying? I mean, they never fucking want me to be a life coach talking to you like this because I'm fucking so successful in what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm so fucking successful in what I'm doing that I never fucking need them in my life. I mean, I mean when you don't fucking want to be a soccer player or a fucking sports player, they never fucking need other people to fucking make your career for you. And never fucking need other people to fucking tell you what to do and never fucking need other people to fucking be telling you where to go and how to fucking play and how to fucking live life I mean go fucking live your own life 
And make sure you understand, you never fucking need other people in the first place to be a fucking superstar. I mean, do you understand? I mean, that's how it is, man. I, I'm, no, I'm no fucking dying my soccer career anymore. I still go fucking on sports. I'll go fucking go kicking soccer over there. And I'll make another fucking Instagram showing people the fucking way. Which that's the best thing I can fucking do is just fucking put my shin pads on and fucking put the soccer boots on and fucking get a soccer boy and fucking start shooting fucking and just showing fucking examples. So that fucking young kids these days and people can fucking understand what I'm doing, man. You understand? Which is the fucking best way, mate. I, I just fucking role model. I just be a role model for that. And then fucking people say, because of you, Danny Malvoyage, and because of how I seen your fucking Instagram, and because of how I fucking seen your Instagram, I fucking do the same thing as you now. Or so Jesus Christ wants me to do that. What you saying? I want to do that. I want to fucking be able to juggle 100 times a soccer ball, mate. I fucking record myself doing all this fucking soccer stuff. Because guess what? I mean, my life coaching backs up my soccer now. I mean, my life coaching backs up my soccer. I'm a life coach, baby. Much more than anything else now. I'm going to fucking show you the role model of what you need to be in life. I'll show you how I fucking run across the pitch. I'll run across the pitch. I'll go fucking train. I'll go fucking have a cameraman for fuck's sake. I look like a fucking professional soccer player. I promise you. I look like a fucking professional soccer player on the pitch, mate. Because I eventually have a million bucks to do so. I have fucking all the followers to do so. I mean, guess what? I can go and buy, I can play one year at Manchester United right now. I promise you. I can go fucking to Manchester United and I can play for Manchester United for one year. I promise you. And Jesus Christ can understand me here. I can play for one year at Manchester United. I can play for Manchester United for one year of my career. I promise you, no fucking worries, mate. Or it's never fucking too late for me. I'm just 28 years of age. I'm just 28 years of age. I have the next seven years or eight years or nine years to fucking play for Manchester United. One year, I can fucking do it, mate. I can fucking do it. I promise you, it's never too late for Daniel Voyage. Man, wow. I mean, guess what? I'm fucking doing it, man. I promise you, do I want to do it? Really? I mean, fucking why not? I mean, guess what? I mean, guess what? I can do my life coaching still. But the thing is, I'm never fucking competing against them. I'm competing with myself over here. I mean, guess what? I fucking gonna get my student bands right now. I start my career right now. As a 28 year young man, I promise you, eventually people are going to fucking notice me and who I am. I mean, they're gonna notice me and what I am, mate. I mean, they say, who's this superstar? I mean, Contract Danny Miller Voyage one year with Man Manchester United. I mean, fucking one year, mate. I play one year. I mean, what? I mean, fucking better than all these fucking idiots. You understand? Know I mean, it's never fucking too late for you, mate. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, you want, I mean, you want to fucking play for Miami soccer team or whatever it is? When you want to play for fucking basketball team somewhere? Well, I mean, you can play for one year somewhere like that. I mean, you can play for Miami basketball team for one year. I promise you. You can play for fucking six months as well. You can play for six months. I mean, you can make it. You can fucking make it, man. I have a fucking career now as well. I'm going to do myself a favor over here. I'm going to fucking show the world who Danny Milovic is. I can play for fucking Manchester United, man. I can fucking play for Manchester United, I promise you. I'm going to show you right now. I mean, you understand? I mean, it's never fucking too late for me, mate. I get on the fucking pitch right now. I get, very, I get on the fucking soccer pitch, mate. I get on the soccer pitch. I can go fucking, for the first year, just advertise myself as a soccer player for fuck sake, man. I promise you. I can fucking really do it, mate. I can really do it, mate. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I play, I just, I, mean, I just play, mate. I just want to make it to Manchester United, though. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Where is that? I don't care about anything else, mate. I play as a striker, mate. I play, I play peerless striker. I play peerless striker, though. I mean, why? I mean, why? I mean, why? I mean, why? I mean, guess what? I'll go central defense. I'll go central defense. I'll go central defense, mate. 
I play central defense, yeah? I play better than central defense now. I play central I play, play I play central defense midfielder. I'm playing the fucking center. I'm the center of the show, mate. I'm the center of the show, I play the best. I play the best in central midfield. I brush you. I fucking run up and down the pitch all day long. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. I'm a vegan too. I'm a vegan too. I mean, no worries, mate. I start fucking training right now. I start fucking training. I start fucking running the pitch, mate. I start advertising myself. Watch. Watch, there's time for everything. I'm probably shocking to it. I have more than enough time for everything, mate. Watch, I fucking teach myself all the kicks while I'm fucking with my selfie stick, teaching myself how to play soccer on the pitch. And teaching myself while talking to you how to fucking train myself on the pitch. While life coaching you as well. Watch, it can be done. Watch, it can be done. I teach you everything, mate. I teach you everything. Watch, that's how it is, man. Watch, how do I start first? I mean, how do I start first? I get myself a fucking soccer ball. And I just go with a soccer ball somewhere. I get myself a soccer ball and I just go with a soccer ball anywhere in the park, mate. And what do I do with the soccer ball? I mean, all I do is start juggling, mate. <laughs> I mean, start juggling the soccer ball, mate. I mean, first learn to juggle in the soccer ball. I mean, why? I mean, why do you have to learn to juggle the soccer ball? Because that's all about control. I mean, it's the control of the soccer ball, mate. I mean, if you learn how to control the soccer ball while you juggle, and juggle, and be, I mean, be able to juggle at least 1,000 soccer juggles. I mean, be able to do 1,000 soccer juggles before you do anything else. I mean, be able to just do that. I mean, juggle the ball first. I mean, juggle the ball and then fucking go and do what you want. Brush after, brush after that, brush after soccer, I mean, after juggling the ball. I mean, go and fucking do penalty shootouts. I mean, go and do penalty shootouts. And make sure you understand that this time, Rush, what you do with penalty shootouts is make sure you score 1,000 times. <laughs> I mean, score 1,000 penalty shootouts. And from that point, I mean, what do you do from that point? I mean, everything's 1,000 over here and more. I mean, what do you do from that point? I mean, go and run the pitch 1,000 times up and down. I mean, just do that then. I mean, what do you do from that point? I mean, from that point, I mean, now make sure you understand that you're a soccer player now. I mean, make sure you understand now you're a soccer player. <laughs> That's it, yeah? I just gonna see. I mean, 1,000 juggles and 1,000 penalty shootouts and 1,000 times up and down. And now you're a soccer player. That's it. That's all you want to do, yeah? That's it. See, Man Snyder, I can do it. I can do it. I mean, the Jesus Christ want me to play for Man Snyder. And Jesus Christ says, go and do what you want, man. I'm gonna play for Man United, man. I make sure of it, man. I'm rushing. It's never too late for me, man. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it, man. I can make it. I can make it by 33 years of age. I can make it, man. I make one Instagram very quickly now. I'm just a side hustle, man. I mean, this is something different. I mean, this is a side hustle. I mean, I mean, just to fucking conquer my dream, and then guess what? I'll continue with my soccer performances, man. I'll continue that. And now I can be a man star. I can be a manager. I can be a manager too. I can be a manager of a sports club too. And that's what it is, man. Roshan, then I'll show you guys what I mean. Roshan, that's how it is, man. Roshan, I have to do it for my legacy, man. I mean, how much, I mean, how much goals I score? I never fucking care about how much goals I score when I get to Manchester United. I never care about that, man. I care to get to Manchester United. I never give a fuck about anything else, man. I care to give the ball so other people get a fucking score, man. <laughs> Rush, if I score a goal, Rush, fucking good for me. I mean, you say? I mean, fuck. I mean, you say I'm, I'm a superstar now in Manchester United. I promise you. Rush, Daniel Boy is a superstar in Manchester United, mate. I mean, why Manchester United? Because now I'm a fucking true fan of Manchester United, that's why. I went for Manchester United, mate. I want, I want to play for Manchester United soccer, and that's why. All my life, mate. I mean, all my life. I mean, why do you believe somebody follows Juventus? I mean, they want to be a Juventus superstar, mate, I promise you. I mean, they want to be someone who plays in our soccer team, I promise you. And that's why they fucking follow Juventus. I mean, why do they follow Manchester United? I mean, they follow Manchester United because they want to be a superstar in Manchester United of a soccer player, mate. 
Fresh, I can do this with basketball. I can do it with any fucking sport, man. I can do it with any sport. I can be a basketball player too. I understand, but I already have skills in my actual nice and beautiful soccer pitch over here. And promise you, I never lost time over here either. I never did lose any kind of time over here. But what I'm doing now is I'm never fucking giving up, man. I'm never giving up on my career. You understand? I'll fucking teach you a lesson, man. I'm the only one, I'm the only one, man. I'm the only one, and I. I promise you there's more people that can do what I do, I promise you. I promise you they can do what I do, man. I promise you now, what I want to do is I want to get some food and drink, man. I want to get some food and drink before my bullshit dad sends me, man. I mean, why is that? Because I have time, man. I have time to be a superstar, man. I have time, man. I have time for everything. I'm, I'm also somebody who does music production as well. But that's the thing, yeah? A little bit away. I can give one year to play for Man United, man. I can give one year. I can give one year, man. I mean, do I retire? I never retire, bro. I never retire. <laughs> I, have other, I have other stuff to do now. I mean, you must understand, man. For sure, did manager one year for Manchester United? For sure, guess what? For sure, I can be a manager one year for Manchester United. I can be a manager one year at Manchester United too. For sure, that's how it is. But why am I doing this? I mean, why am I doing this? I'm doing it so I can understand that I can make it. I can make it. I want you guys to believe in the dream, man. I want you guys to believe in that dream, man. I mean, along the way, as a soccer player, I'm still doing my life coaching everywhere. I'm still getting the money that I want. I'm still getting everything I want. I mean, I make sure you understand that I'm doing nightclub events around fucking London as a Manchester soccer player. I'm a Manchester United soccer player and I'm doing fucking live events around the fucking sports teams or where I'm going with soccer players around here, man. I'm doing live events at nightclubs, mate. I promise you. I'm doing live... I mean, yeah, I'm the only soccer player who's doing that, man. I'm the only soccer player, I love it. I'm the only soccer player who can go around the fucking world right now and be able to DJ while being in a Manchester United soccer team. And I can DJ my own music. I mean, yeah! And I'm Serbian and half Croatian. I'm the only one in history right now. I understand? I'm in history right now for myself, baby. I mean, guess what? I mean, that's how it is, man. I mean, believe in the dream, man. I hear Jesus Christ say, believe in the dream. I'm not sure that Jesus Christ says, I need you to believe in the dream, though. I'm not sure Jesus Christ says, I need you to believe in the dream. I'm not sure that, guess what? I'm not sure that's how it is, man. I'm not sure Jesus Christ says anything with the word I that's positive. I'm not sure Jesus Christ says only something that is positive in the word I. I mean, nothing else. That's the fashion photos of here. I promise you now, guess what? I have some new skills over here, but I'm learning some new skills around here. I'm not saying that it's never too late for me to do anything, mate. But guess what? I, I, I was soccer player is my early high, I mean, I was, guess what? I promise you, that's already chosen for I. I mean, I mean that's something that's chosen for I, mate. I mean, I mean, that's where my biological dad I mean, my, my, my biological dad came to me and said, Hey, I want you to be a soccer player. I mean, guess what? I want to understand this. I understand that I made a dream over here. To, I, I made a dream, but guess what? I live a bit away. I want to go and prove it. I want to prove it to myself over here. First, now I want to be a soccer player. I want to be a soccer player. Still. I understand, but guess what? I live a bit away. I want to fucking run around, man. I want to run around. I can play. I play for Australia one year, man. I play for Australia one year, man. I play for Australia soccer team one year. I mean, guess what? Russia's the way it is. I mean, understand? But I'm, I'm much more superstar than they are in the team. I, I'm the I'm the capitano. I'm the capitano in the team. My man's not I promise you. I'm the capitano in Australia soccer team. I'm the captain. I'm the captain. I'm Russia. And what makes me the captain? I say so. I say I'm the captain. I say I'm the captain of the soccer team of Australia and Manchester United. Of course, that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's it. I mean, I, mean, what, I mean, who else can do that, man? I mean, who else can do that, man? You know what I'm saying? 
Well, you guys have to understand how you feel, man. I feel amazing. I guess what? I feel that no matter what, that something else is coming in my life over here, saying, hey, let it be that way. I was although that's something that's nice and beautiful for me. Because guess what? I understand that no matter what, I have more enough time to accomplish this, man. I mean, that's Jesus Christ, so I would ask Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ says, in your position, yeah, what is in your position? What she is, man. I don't know. Why not? I mean, guess what? I mean, regardless of what happens, I mean, regardless of what happens, man, I'll make it for a big soccer team somewhere. I'll make it for a big soccer team club. I promise you, regardless of what's happening, man. I promise you, it's happening. I promise you, if it never happens in Manchester United, I promise you, then it happens in AC Milan, or maybe it happens in Barcelona, or maybe it happens in Real Madrid, or maybe it happens somewhere else. I promise you. But guess what? I promise you, it has to happen at Manchester United. And why is that? Because I have to make it happen. Oh shit, I have to make it happen at Manson Island because I say so. A little bit that way. <laughs> I'm running shoulder, guess what? I have to be very quick. I have to be very quick about everything, man. I see I see also my music production now. I mean, that's the thing, man. I mean, I mean there's a lot of time man, I mean, there's a lot of time to go. But guess what? My music production can fail me, oh yeah. I mean, that's the thing, man. That's the thing, man. I mean, guess what? A little bit away. Watch, that's all time given, for fuck's sake. For a soccer player, man. I mean, all that time, man. I mean, guess what? I mean, it's like, I mean, sometimes you come to a certain stage in your life where it's either music or soccer player, I mean, what do you want? I mean, guess what? I mean, you have to understand that it's more like that, isn't it? I'm not sure though, guess what? It's more, I gave him the words, yeah? I gave him the words, man. I don't know, you know, man. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it to the Manson Island, man. Or I, I, I can see all that. I can see what that is, man. I can see that. I'll move on, man. I move on? Or should guess what? I mean, for fuck's sake, I can make it. But guess what? I mean, it's a big dream. I mean, it's a big dream regardless. I mean, guess what? I mean, Jesus Christ says. It's much better for me to just keep going with her. I mean, it's much better for me to go with her, mate. A little bit. Like that. A little bit. A little bit, away. I, I still go with Manson Island, man. I mean, I, I mean, guess what? I mean, yes, I understand how I have the Ten Commandments album, man. I mean, I, I mean, what can I do with Jesus Christ here to make the Ten Commandments album, man? Yeah. When Jesus Christ says, we can figure something out, but there's a way I can do it. I can make a thousand EPs really quickly, man. I mean, there's something I can do, man. I promise you. I promise you, it's time for everything. I promise you. Not that way. I promise you, it's time for everything. I promise you, there's a way that I can make a thousand hours of music, of trance music, in other ways, man. I promise you, a thousand EPs of thousand hours of music. I promise you, something different. But what do you want? I mean, you want a thousand hours of music? Or do you want a thousand EPs? I will do a thousand hours, man. Uh, a thousand hours is achievable for me. Uh, I can make one track 33 hours. I mean, for fuck's sake. Oh, I love that. I mean, guess what? I'm not in there. Well, sure, what I'm doing now is I'm focusing on understanding that there's a new sports star around town, man. And there's somebody else, man. Well, sure, the Serbian people over there want me to play over there. Well, sure, guess what? I understand that. I mean, they want me to play for Serbia, man. Well, sure. I mean, guess what? I play for Australia. I play for Australia, man. I play for Australia. Well, sure. I mean, I mean, if I play for Serbia, I mean, guess what? I play for I only. Russia, if if, if, Russia, if Danny Milovic plays for Serbia, then Croatia fucking hates Danny Milovic, man. <laughs> I understand that. I never want to play for Serbia. I promise you, never. Well, I play for. I never play for Serbia, man. Ever. You understand? I never play for Croatia either. I never play for Croatia either. I play for Australia. Yeah, so kangaroo. I'm a, I'm a kangaroo man. <laughs> oh shit! I'm born in Australia, man. 
Watch, that's how it is for me, man. Watch, and now I have to do something different, man. I get the abs, I get the training sessions, I get everything going, and that's something I need to do for my physical body anyway. Uh, I see now. See, there's something happening for me, man. There's some fucking sports star coming out, man. Watch it. Watch anyway. Watch a little bit that way. I'll make sure I can go and do something nice and beautiful for myself. To make sure I have more enough success now. To go and really deliver content in other ways too. I'm a life coach, I'm a music producer. Watch it. After my career in soccer, I'm music production, man. Oh ho ho ho. And you have to see this, mate. I'm gonna play, I'll play music over here and there. I can make this nice and beautiful album, mate. I can make something other, mate. I'll make all this come true, mate. I have to go get myself fucking food and drink, but guess what? I mean, time, huh? And guess what? I have to get myself food and drink. I mean, oh, I mean, what do I do here? I'm mean, just like, oh. I mean, guess what? I mean, what am I doing, huh? I'm mean, gonna get to my boss, good dad, man. I mean, get to the boss, good dad. I mean, uh, I mean, go get the business cards, man. I mean, ho, ho, ho. I mean, guess what? I mean, oh, I mean, what's going on around here? I mean, I mean, guess what? I mean, he wants to get the car, mate. I mean, guess what? I mean, go get food and drink, man. I get the food and drink now. A little bit away. I say, come on. I say, anyway. Or I say, what's important for me? I love you. I say, anyway. I love you, right? Where is it? Move on. I'm a music producer, I can see it. I'm not sure that, guess what? I understand now. I have to go training, I have to go get, I have to go physically train myself anyway. Roshi, it's much better than I do as a soccer star now. I'm Roshi, and anyway, I, I have other goals, but that's the thing. I mean, the soccer player can give me the physical body I want, mate. I mean, yeah. Roshi, it's more in my life path anyway. And yeah, so I can do this, man. I love life. I mean, for fuck's sake, I have to go to do this, man. I mean, guess what? I'm doing all this nice and beautiful stuff over here. I'm worthy, man. Roshi, now what do I want to get over here as food and drink, man? I should have to get some stuff over here. I get some pasta. Be careful for fuck's sake. I mean, guess what? I have to turn around to see the cars before I fucking get out of the car. So be careful, man. I mean, especially because no matter what, I can see it, man. I, I apologize. And, I mean, guess what? I mean, that's something that is crucial for me to understand. I never want to park there again. I never want to park there again. I'm learning from it now. I mean, guess what? I never want to park anywhere where there's a fucking car that may fucking hit me because I open the door or something. I mean, never again, man. I never want to do that ever again. I learned from it now. I park, in, I park indoors and that's it. I park indoors and here. I'll go over there then. I park over there then. I never fucking park like that ever again, man. I promise you. I'm learning from that now. I promise you anyway. I can see straight away what I do. I can see some people who have a certain, let's say, amount of whatever they're doing, I understand, it's much more how you have to understand So a way to go and set goals with numbers So you can go and do a greater job for yourself So you can go and really understand yourself Yeah? So every single day I'm learning how to Just enjoy myself And as I enjoy myself I'm doing the nice and beautiful protection over here of my word eye I'm not saying I'm looking at the word eye here I'm not saying that no matter what I can see how I am really really moving forward over here I realize that as I move forward I can see how people are mate I realize that what I need to do is I need to go and see this. I need to make sure I can go and get some pasta. I get some pasta. I got soy milk. I have soy milk. I get some pasta. I mean, what the fuck am I doing, man? I have some rice. I mean, guess what? I mean, that's a fucking waste of time, huh? I mean, hold on. When you came for pasta, I'll pitch come out to me. I mean, oh, I mean, come on, man. What are you doing, man? I mean, what are you doing around here? I mean, guess what? I mean, just go get a juice then. I mean, for fuck's sake, man. Oh. I think it's not. I have to go to the toilet. I have to go to the toilet. I mean, guess what? I have to go to the toilet. I don't know if I have to go to the toilet. Bitch, what? I mean, guess what? I mean, Jesus Christ. I ask Jesus Christ which one. See over here. See. See over here. See Apricot. I'm going to get Apricot. I'm going to get Apricot. Bye bye.
Men for fuck's sake, bro, det er... Hold op her, hold op her. Pension, jeg har andet sand. Pension, jeg har så været i sådan en. Pension, jeg har råd os. Men det er fucking gøy, vi har med. Kom med, hold op her, man. Kom med, hvor... I have food, fucking shit. I've been fucking rushing all day long, mate. A little bit of mine. Oh, I mean, guess what? A little bit of mine. Oh, I have no problem with that. Come on. I think you. A little bit. A little bit. I love the track over here. I'm fucking high on life, mate. I'm fucking high on life. I have to go to toilet anyway, man. Oh, fuck, I love Jesus Christ. I mean, guess what? I love everything, man. I'm, I'm traveling, mate. I mean, I have to get on the soccer pitch. I have to go and get some soccer boots. I mean, guess what? I, get, I have to get a soccer ball, mate. I have to get a soccer ball. And that'll be bad. I understand that. I have to go do that, and that'll be bad. I, I have a reason to go on the soccer pitch now. A little bit that way. I mean, for fuck's sake, I understand that. I see that for, I see from that situation. I mean, just fucking. I mean, just this man. We I mean, never fucking do that one. I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're trying to kick a ball into a soccer net, and you're fucking one meter away from the soccer net, then just fucking pluck it with the front of your fucking footsteps, man. I mean, I mean, just fucking dig a, I mean, dig a fucking one of those nice and beautiful toes into the fucking ball from the front of the toes. And then I'm fucking trying to hit the soccer ball from the middle of your fucking feet, mate. When you're one meter away from the goal, mate. And that's what I understand now. I'm not fucking so. No lie. Oh. I'll see you, mate, guys. I make sure I can see myself in the mirror. I'm like, I see. You. Guess what? I have to wash my hands. But guess what? I understand that no matter what, what's important is I'm making sure every single time that I usually wash my genitals after every time I pee and poop on the line. I just take a pee, but since I'm in a public toilet, I never want to wash my pee around other people who maybe fucking walk in the door to see my pee pee. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I guess what? <laughs> I, was, I, I wash my pee pee every time at my brother's or dad's house where it's more private, where it's never a public toilet, but it's more of a private toilet for me. And after a pee pee or poop, I wash my, I wash my ass and I wash my pee pee, and I make sure every time. I mean, every time I piss and shit, I wash my genitals. I mean, you understand? I'm very clean like that. I mean, you can laugh all you want at me, mate. I'm very clean, mate. I'm very sure, very sure if you masturbate. I understand. I understand. I'm very sure if you. Yeah, some yellow milk. So anyway, I'm more than one minute. I'm very sure. I guess what? I'm very sure. I just said to my dad, to my mom, to dad. I said to him I'm coming. I'm very sure. I guess what? I'm very sure. It's more how I understand that what's important is every single day I'm learning. I'm learning how to grow and grow myself. But the thing is that if I may masturbate, or as I say, listen, or as if you masturbate, or as I make sure that I never masturbate. Make sure I never masturbate, I never go do anything other than making sure I'm doing better. But if you masturbate and you have sperm everywhere, then just go and wash your genitals, man, after masturbation sessions. And just wash your genitals before you sleep. And wash your genitals right away if you masturbate. If you masturbate, then wash your genitals right away. And make it clean, again. I mean, good. I mean just make sure you never masturbate. I mean, Jesus Christ never masturbates. I mean, you know I mean, that's what I want to say to you. I'm not sure that, guess what? I'm not saying something now. I'm not saying that I don't want to be anywhere other than radar. Making sure that it's temporary. Russia is temporary. Russia, sure I love everybody. But make sure you understand that if you're borrowing some other people's technology or whatever, then they want to use it, man, eventually. And they want to use it eventually, man. So I'm understanding anyway. What I'm understanding now is I'm learning, man. I'm learning how to understand the newest ways of life. But the newest ways of life, man, is understanding your word I. So I'm understanding now. I realize I have something new to do now. I'm focused on understanding now. I mean, how much more business cards can I give out, man? I can do it. I can do it today, man. I can do it today, but guess what? I realize nightfall, and then what happens then? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ says, Look at me. Look at me. Well, actually, I mean, does Jesus Christ go and do it now? Well, Jesus Christ says, Look at me, man. I mean, look at me, huh? I love it. I mean, so what's important for me now is I'm saying to just let it be now. I just, I just go and re record myself in a better way, man. I focus on, I focus on making sure I have more enough. I focus on saying that what I want to do is I love my life, man. And I focus on saying I just go and do something to help myself succeed, yeah. But I love my techno music too. I love my techno music and. I listen to different music I have as well. I'm just I'm different music, man. I have all these nice and beautiful music, man. I'll make sure. I'll, 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 what I want to do is I have beautiful music. I make beautiful music. I promise you. Well, I understand something. I'm more of a music producer now than ever before. And that's the thing about me, man. I promise you. I promise you. I can I can tell people. I can say to people, hey, I mean, let me go for one year, man. I mean, let me go for one year. I'll contact you. <laughs> I mean, let me go. I'm playing for Messi Nigel, bro. <laughs> for fuck's sake, I mean, I mean, they would call me to events for one year at least. <laughs> I can fucking tell them that. I should just gonna say, I can tell them, never call me to events for one year at least. I'm buddy from NC Nogan. Please. <laughs> I'm in a position to say so. <laughs> oh, shit. I have higher values now. I'm gonna try to fucking, I'm traveling around the fucking UEFA Champions League and everywhere, but. <laughs> so fucking let me be now. <laughs> but while I'm fucking over there somewhere, you have a Champions League in fucking there, city somewhere. I make sure, I make sure you understand. I go to a nightclub somewhere to play fucking music. So Russia, guess what? I mean, they have to let me be. You know, they have to let me be, man. I'm a music producer too. I make some money along the way. <laughs> I make some money along the way. I make a fucking seminar somewhere down there. I do something separate, boys. I, I do fucking life coaching too. I go fucking this way. I'm doing DJing night. I'm doing DJ tonight, but I mean, I'm my, or as my soccer team wants to see where I'm DJing. I'm DJing to this nightclub tonight, guys. I've been mean, coming party with me. <laughs> so really, so I, I never drink alcohol, man. I never drink alcohol. I never do drugs. I say you can go now. I see my manager just wants me to go now. <laughs> I, I want you. I want your training sessions at seven o'clock in the morning. I say fuck. I have no worries, mate. I have no worries. <laughs> On the other day, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure though. I mean, what's he going to do with me? Well, he wants to do this nice little dribbling session tonight. A little bit like. I'm not sure. And then a little bit like. I'm not sure. Then they want to have a little game like. A little bit like. I'm not sure. It's much more how it is, isn't it? I mean, make sure I understand that what you have to do is learn how to go and persuade yourself to be a runner. I mean, learn to run. I mean, learn to run and run and run. And be able to run and run and run. I see this guy, I see he's crazy, mate. Right? I see he's crazy. I want to be. I want to see this, man. I love him alone. See, I see every single day. But what's important is understanding straight away that what I do is focus upon helping myself to succeed differently. And as I succeed differently, I'm learning, man. I'm learning that he wants to go somewhere, man. <laughs> I mean, look at me, man. Uh, thank you for the car, mate. I'll end it. When he's asking for the car, I'll end it. Where's the two? I want you to see this now. As what I do is I focus upon helping myself to just go and lift myself, yeah? But as I lift myself, I just focus on being much more private with what I'm doing. I say anyway, I can go and just do life differently. I can do myself a favor. And I can go and make sure that I'm learning, yeah? I'm learning how to do much greater. So anyway, I say what I'm doing is, I see when someone offers you something in silence, they just accept it. <laughs> I was unaware, man. I well, guess what, I promise you, it's much more how I understand that what I want to do is see this now. I've seen silence, I, I asked Jesus Christ what that is. Roger, Jesus Christ says, hmm, Roger, guess what? And Jesus Christ says, that's in silence, isn't it? Roger, 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 Jesus Christ says, there's a point here that you can accept it, but you can also be silent about it. Roger, Jesus Christ says, you can be silent about it. When does Jesus Christ, when does Jesus Christ have to receive that? Like this? Roger, Jesus Christ says, he never has to receive this one. 
Roger, I can say no. I can signal no like this, yeah? Roger's Jigger Scratch says, yeah, you can, I mean, you can signal no in silence like this if somebody wants to give you something in silence. But the thing is that if they ask you in words, then you can accept it. I mean, let them ask you in words and you have to accept it if they give you words. I mean, if they say, please have it for me, and then you have to grab it, I mean, grab it, yeah? But if it's in silence, then Jesus Christ, I mean, you have to understand, Jesus Christ never has to grab that in terms of the keys. So one logical dad gave me the key of the car in silence. But what I do, I said no in silence. I said no in silence, yeah? I never said no up in front of his face with words. I said, I realized all day, well, guess what? I realized Jesus Christ says, if you want to speak up words for this, Roshi, this is control and power. Roshi, this is where you say, I never need that. I mean, so, if somebody's trying to give you something in silence, then you can speak words and say, I never need that. Roshi, and guess what? Roshi, that's what you can do and say, I never need it, and just go. Roshi, Jesus Christ says, uh, Roshi, Jesus Christ says that he does that. But if you ask Jesus Christ, please have this, and you say, are you able to grab this for me? Roshi, Jesus Christ says, no worries. Roshi, Jesus Christ says, I can do it for you. But Jesus Christ says the I first. I first is what Jesus Christ says. For sure that now, I'll let it be, man. I feel I've been running around today too much, mate. I'll let it be that way. I feel that no matter what I have to do, I'll over here. Make sure, anyway, I'll do it now. Bye bye. Well, actually, now, guess what? I have to get a soccer ball, man. I have a soccer ball somewhere. I have a soccer ball somewhere. I have a, I have a backpack over here. I'll just let it be, man. I want to do my event now. I want to do other important matters, man. I'll make sure I have time. I have time. I, I, have, I have six years of practice of soccer to make it men's tonight for one year. I mean, why not, huh? I can practice soccer for six years before I play for men's tonight at 33. I mean, yeah? I mean, so I mean, 29. I mean, six years after that. is around 35 years of age. I mean, guess what? I can make it. I mean, I mean special occasion for me. I, mean, I can do it before that. I can do it before that. I see. The, I see the actual phone that you have over here. There's something over here. that you have to see this. I mean, once I have a photo of my. Uh, Alright, so Samsung over here can actually do a photo for you in terms of what you want over here. And the Samsung does photos while you actually have this nice and beautiful way of life over here in terms of the music going for yourself. Actually, well, that's nice and beautiful. Actually, small how you can see the shades, man. I can see shades over here. So I have this nice and beautiful image over here. Where I'm not saying I do a portrait version over here. I'm doing a portrait image version over here. I mean, I have plenty of photos around this house I can do in terms of life. See the photos and the shades, man, around something. I mean, it's not so beautiful, but I could do better. I mean, guess what? I mean, now Jesus Christ says, just a little bit. I mean, a little bit now. I went around, I gave a thousand business cards. I mean, guess what? Bro, it's much more how it is, huh? Bro, it's much more how I feel. I've been having fun the whole way through. And what I want to do now is I want to let it be. I want to go and understand. I do have food and drink, man. I let it be. I never need a cigarette. Oh, I learned something along the way now. I mean, because I went along the way doing that, I learned all that. Which is the best thing. Which is the best feeling because of that. I let it be now. I want to go listen to my music now. But I'm amazing, man. I'm amazing because I can make music. I can make music. I love life.